Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to create an equipment, install it under a functional location, and assign it a catalog profile. We shall then create a notification to see how catalog profiles are copied to notifications. To create a new notification, we go to Logistics. This is under SAP menu. Then to Plant Maintenance management of technical objects then to equipment and this is where we create our new equipment so we are going to call it pump number four we run it and then we can call it pump our status at this point is available it's valid from today's date the first tab is general. You can populate this as needed. And you can do the same to location field. Since I have a maintenance plant already defined, I'm going to populate it. That's going to be BRI2. My location is San Diego. And you can populate the rest of the fields too. I'm going to move on to organization. The field that I'm interested in at this, on this tab is catalog profile. I'm going to pull up a list of available catalog profiles. And here they are. I will be selecting ISO OCN, ISO profile. I have explained how to create this profile in a separate video but I'm going to go to a different screen which is some kind of a summary of what is contained in that profile. We have catalog 5 which is cost codes that is design, design courses. We have fabrication and installation courses, management courses, miscellaneous courses, operations and maintenance courses. Code A or catalog A starts for maintenance activity. These could be things like uh, replacement, uh, redesign, um, and things like those. Then we have B, which is the code for object part. In this case, I have in my catalog, I have OCN pump. Then we have Catalog C, which is damage codes. We have electrical failure, external failure, instrument failure, material failure, mechanical failure, and miscellaneous failures. So code 5 and code C, and actually to some extent code A, will not change across all catalog profiles. What will change is, cat is catalog B because this will depend on the equipment that you're assigning the catalog to. So if it's a pump, then you're going to assign a catalog profile that has a pump in it, or you're going to make sure that your catalog profile, whatever is in here, is replaced by a pump. If it's agitator, then you have your code B for agitator, and so on. So I'm going to pull up another screen, which uh, drills deeper into what is contained in catalog B and this is what I have so this is my object part catalogs I have quite a number of them here and the one that we were just looking at was OCN pump so under that code group of OCN pump, that is code group B, I have impeller, I have pump casing, I have bearing, I have shaft. So given that our equipment that we want to assign our catalog to, that is pump number four, our equipment is a pump, 
we are going to select a catalog profile that has pump. If for some reason we were creating a catalog profile or we were working on an equipment that has agitator up here, then we would come and make sure that we have a catalog profile that has a profile for agitator at this point here. Yeah. So we are going to go ahead and go back to our equipment. So we are going to select our ISO profile and that is now populated. So what this means is that anytime you create a notification and you have this equipment in your notification, then it's going to pull up this catalog profile. So one more thing before we go ahead and create a notification. We are going to install this pump under a functional location. Right now the status is available. We want to install it. So we are going to go to structure. We are going to populate this field here. So we click on this. And then since I have already created my function, functional location, I'm going to select it. I'm going to install my pump at fifth level. That is at ST2000. And that is all done. So I have pump number four, which is installed under functional location OCN UTL WFI C200 ST2000. So I'm going to save this and my equipment is now created. So I'm going to go out and create a notification that is transaction code IW21. So I run it. It's going to be an M2 notification. And then my equipment is pump number four. So let's see whether our function location field is going to be populated. So we run it and there it is. So we have our pump number four under function location ST2000, fifth level. And as you can notice here, we have our catalog profile copied from equipment. So the catalog profile that we assigned to our equipment has been copied here. So you're going to get the selections from that catalog profile as you s when you select your object part, damage and cost code. So let's go ahead and see what we have in object part. So we have our pump here. So we select 1000, then we have our damage, and we can select, we can drill down and select whatever is applicable to our damage. So we can call it material failure and corrosion, for example. Cost code. that could be something like improper material, 1,200. So our notification has been created. And the most important thing is that we were able to select pump as our object part because we had assigned our catalog profile to 
our equipment pump number four. So that is how you create an equipment and how you assign your catalog profile to an equipment. Thank you for watching.